Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor, here with my father, Kevin. And today, uh, this is a artist, an album that has been requested countless amounts of times on the channel. To the point where people actually thought that um, I don't like this artist. They were saying, do you have something against this artist because you haven't done one of their albums? Mm -hmm. um, no, I do not. Uh, I, I am a fan of this artist. And this artist is Taylor Swift. You have not listened to a Taylor Swift album in its entirety, have you? No, never. No, zero, zero. But tell me a little bit about Taylor Swift, what you know. When did you first hear about Taylor Swift? What do you know about her now? Okay. As you know, and anybody new watching, I have been a big country fan my whole life. Yeah. I was writing for country. I was singing country. I was pitching country for Nashville for a while. Um, and this young lady came out with this album and, uh, her, she had a song, Tim McGraw. And I remember seeing her at a live showcase and she was singing it. And I thought, oh man, she ain't going to make it. <laughs> I, and why was that? I, you know what? It was her singing chops at the time live. Um, Fuck, was I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boy, was I wrong. Very wrong. Very wrong. I would have been fired as an A&R rep. Oh, yeah. You would have been. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Well, she transitioned into pop. Yeah. Uh, has changed her sound many times. Uh, she has what some might say eras. Yeah. You know? Yes. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Um, Taylor's been one of these artists that I, I hear... In the malls, I hear videos, I hear stuff like that. But and, you haven't sat down. And I haven't sat down, and it's probably because you. I don't really know a starting point. That's good that we're here today. You know what? That's exactly, because I, I don't know really where to start. Should I go back all the way to, to Taylor, Taylor Swift, the the debut. Tim McGraw, and listen to that, or start up here and work backwards? So, Well, that's where I'll chime in here. I think it's the best starting point just because it's my favorite, and I am your son so i'm going to tell you what to do uh so that's why we're doing it so there's a lot of lore folklore there's a lot of lore to this uh record there's a love triangle connecting three different tracks i don't remember the details because i didn't get too into into it uh yeah. at the time i did a little bit like when it came out and then i kind of forget so uh you're just gonna have to go in raw and lyrics uh, Lyrics. Yeah, I, oh, okay. I, I take lyrics. There's some there's some some pretty good okay. lyrics on this record. Track number one, the one. I'm doing good, I'm on some new shit. Been saying yes instead of no. I thought I saw you at the bus stop, I didn't though. Guess you never know, never know. Should have showed, and if you never bleed, you're never gonna grow, and it's all right now. Great mix, <laughs> so Maybe clear. Something, don't you think so? Fun, if you would have been the one. That's great. Listen, I love the lyrics. Everything on this production so far is like, I have this dream you're doing cool. I've shit. never heard Taylor with piano. Having mm. adventures on your own. You never know, never know. Strip back here. I love really? That. It's another day waking up alone. But we were something, don't you think so? And I what? What? You know, none. Uh, why does this evoke make me want to cry? Even though but it's. It would have been fun if you would have been the one. I was unsure about the claps for the snare, but. You got those little twinkles in there. Hear those little twinkles of yeah, electronica? Yeah. That was a great, great, great track. Can I say just before? Yeah. The, the lyrics in this song, and I think I've said this with uh, Olivia Rodrigo uh, with when we listened to Guts, Guts yeah. is that you don't, you don't have to be in this place or have been in this place to, mm -hmm. to have the artist evoke emotions and near crying and tears. Yeah. It, 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 it's storytelling at its best. You hear it and you, if your body, if you feel what that person's feeling, 
through they're their... doing something. Yeah, they're yeah. doing something right. I haven't been in this situation, mm-hmm. but I was ready to cry. Yeah, like and, and that's how you know an artist did a fantastic yeah, job. Yeah. Okay. I got to go into production here. Uh, starting the album off very simply with piano and that that hard click. Yeah. It sounded like a metronome to me. I'm like, ah, I don't think it's going to work. But soon as Taylor started singing, her vocals are so good now. And I apologize, Taylor. Um, that I, I apologize that I doubted you way back with Tim, Tim McGraw, McGraw, and it was only a live. Your vocals just fucking Im- un- like uh, fantastic on this man. So right, let's keep going. Track number two, Cardigan. Vintage tea, brand new phone. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. Great percussion. Yeah. Black lipstick, sensual politics. Baby kiss it back to your And when I felt like that I gave me a major lot of. Oh, yeah. Great, great call. lyrics. Just the production, man. It's, it's, I'm not talking about it because I'm listening to her voice so much, but the production is sick. Listen to this. Yeah, I know. Was that from Peter Losing Wendy from that show you watch? I don't know. Family Guy. <laughs> it would be Peter Losing Lois, but that would be a hard light lyric. I would like that. <laughs> it's really picked up, eh? Yeah. It's getting grander. all that reversing it's my favorite Taylor record production wise I'm just gonna say that right now we're two tracks in again and I haven't given it a listen in a while but fuck I love this album there is so much going on you hear how it 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 came out stripped and then by the time we got to the end there it was really really full yeah I I did like I don't know what the Peter losing Wendy line is yeah click on that because you you thought it was (laughs) Family guy. I didn't. I didn't that, know. That, I didn't know Peter's wife. That would be no. It's Lois. It's oh, from, Lois. It's uh, from Family Guy. Yeah, but that would be pretty funny. Uh, I oh, would, Peter Pan. Okay. Yeah. I like how you don't know. You're older than me. You don't know Peter Pan, uh, but you'd know Peter Griffin. <laughs> Peter wants Wendy to stay forever and to be his mother, but she eventually leaves behind the fantasy of Neverland. Okay, Peter losing Wendy. What a great lyric. Peter Pan makes a lot more sense than Peter Griffin. <laughs> Peter, Peter, that's who it is, Peter Griffin. So track number three, The Last Great American Dynasty. This is a true story. Um, and I'll, I'll give it a read here. Well, I don't, don't want to... Oh, don't, don't spoil it. Okay. I don't want to spoil it completely. Um, I'll tell you after, but uh, I just know that it's a true story. Okay. Track number three, The Last Great American Dynasty. Whoa. Yes. Rebecca rode up on the afternoon train. It was sunny. Her salt box house on the coast took a mind off St. Louis. They picked out a home and called it Holiday House. I love the storytelling already, Dad. <laughs> Production uh, is on point, man. Yeah. There goes the most shameless woman this town has ever seen. She had a marvelous time ruining everything. And in a feud with her neighbor, she stole his dog and died at Key Lime Green. <laughs> That was great. That was great. So now I want you to go just read through the, the genius okay. uh, summary there. The last great American dynasty follows the story of Rebecca Harkness, a patron of the arts and founder of the Rebecca Harkness Foundation. In 2013, Swift bought a Rhode Island mansion once owned by Re- Rebecca Harkness. The mansion is known as Holiday House. Taylor draws subtle, su- subtle comparisons between herself and Rebecca Harkness in the song. 
She likens her star-studded parties to the bevy of famous composers and the dancers that once frequent, frequented Holiday House in the Harkness days. Also similar to Taylor Swift, Rebecca Harkness was often a target of harsh criticism from the tabloids and the people alike. Wow. Yeah. So, it. so it's a true story wow. and, and Taylor ended up buying the house. I believe she sold it now. I, yeah. I think I read that she she had sold it, but yeah. fantastic storytelling. Like the first time I listened to this, I was yeah. like, okay, this is cool. Like, you know, fiction. Like, yeah. I, I thought it was it was really yeah. cool fiction, but I, I was like, it, it's kind of an odd story to tell. But knowing the story is not fiction, it's real. It's based on real events and Taylor's connected to it in a yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was really cool and it, and it kind of changed the song for me. Starting at this point, with right now uh, uh with uh with this album with me has definitely changed uh, my perspective of her just writing acoustic bass you know four, uh 145 songs she she is a really good writer yeah and, like, and i know people like i mean obviously not the taylor swift fans they they love uh, her writing but i do see criticism of her being like a you know a, a not like a, like an average writer or something like that and people will will criticize her uh, for her writing, but I don't think people realize how fucking hard it is to to write a song. Oh man, I just, t- I mean, you can speak a little bit on that as a songwriter. I love the way she stayed in the lower octave just until the very, very ending. end, and yeah. then she she went up high with just her for voice. The marvelous time, and then went. Yeah, high, that yeah. was a real special moment. That's a payoff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You wait. You wait. You're listening. You're listening. Listening, and then she gets that up there. Right. Great. Great storytelling. Great track. Um. Kudos to production on this album. This, I know I got old ears, but man, <laughs> the, the nuances going on, the 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 level that everything is at. Like mm-hmm. we've been, I've heard albums that we've gone through where I'm like, the y- y- I've had to adjust the volume. Yeah, because it's like certain tracks. Yeah, don't. and it hasn't been mastered like properly. Yeah. Right, you're all over the place. This is this is even keel so far. Yes, like, yeah, we haven't touched the volume and it's perfect, and yeah. I don't think we will have to. Track number four. Exile. Oof. You get me with this piano today, boy. <laughs> you asked me if there be if you'd hear more piano with yeah. Taylor on the first track. I was like, yeah, there'll be some. I can see you standing, honey, with his arms around your body. Whoa. Nothing but the jokes, not funny at all. Oh man, this is not the bond I know. <laughs> this is deeper than you. You know that? I know. I think I've seen this film before And I didn't like the ending Wasn't uh, Justin's voice like so fucking crisp and clean and clean, deep yeah. and bad? No effects on it? I can see you staring, honey Like he's just your understudy So I'm leaving at the side door Yeah, that was great. So step right out. Uh, my first back. No Heavy shiver, dude. Yeah. Cry, so they work perfect together. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. This fucking top tier, man. This is making me feel shit. That gets me the clap of fucking. What can you say? That that gets the clap of what I think is as is fucking greatness. Um. Wow. Okay. Can I start again? Go for it. Because I just wanted to say, okay, he starts off the song. Uh, that's a Bon Iver, uh Justin, I've never heard vocally. Yeah. Yeah. We, nope. you've heard the experimental Bon Iver, and Yeah. You've yeah. heard him on his debut, which is, you know, the more higher pitched uh, in a cabin 50 feet away from the microphone. Yeah. Yeah. With it at the $20 uh, Sears guitar. That, yeah. whole, that, that is, that showed me he can sing. He yeah. can. It's difficult to sing deep and in tune. He killed it. Um, well, that's why I told you um, him live. 
is something you I, saw I, live, I need yeah. to bring you to a live concert because yeah, yeah. his music just translates like totally different, totally different, yeah, yeah. and it's so good live. But carry on. Yeah, no. Um, so when and then, and then the balance of you know that Taylor's coming because she's it's, in the, it's, her, you, it's her song. Yeah, it's her song. You know she's coming. So and then you have her voice. Then you have the balance of their of them both lyrically, not hating on each other, but just being civil. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they're, they're, and 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 then then the beauty of their voices coming together and mesh, and you know that there's 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 still love there. It's there's no hate. It's just sort of like you know you're not here anymore. That type of that yeah. type of feeling. Track number five, my tears ricochet. Wow, sounds like we're in a church in England. <laughs> hey? It does, yeah. 1400s. Even on my worst day, did I deserve, babe, all the hell you gave me? Cause I loved you, I swear I loved you, till my dying day. Deep there, eh? Mm-hmm. I didn't have it in myself to go. Never knowing what they'll mean Some to throw Some to make a diamond ring Love those two lines you know Yeah want to. The way they mix that is crazy Great You hear the rough that Miley Cyrus roughness? And yeah, so yeah. The battleships will sink beneath the waves. Wishing I stay. Look at how my tears ricochet. Yeah, this album just has an atmosphere to it that's. Uh, yeah. I love how it just sticks to it, you know? Okay, there's some lore to this. I guess. Uh, Swift shared uh, via Instagram that my tears ricochet is about an embittered tormentor showing up at the f- uh, up at the funeral of a fallen object of obsession. She revealed in a YouTube live chat. Uh, it was the first song she wrote for folklore. Uh, folklore. Some fans really. Be- this is the first song. Yeah, I didn't know that. some fans believe it connects to Swift's personal life as well. With the song really being about Scott Borchetta's betrayal of S- Swift. When she left Big Machine Records for Republic Records, mm. I try not to follow follow too much of like the uh, the personal side of it. I know that's really important um, for certain albums, but I feel like folklore kind of stands on its own. Where it's like you can really take a lot of the lyrics and and put them into your own kind of yeah yeah perspective yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. Like with that song there, like I don't really need to know the you know her record label issue and stuff and connect those two like to me like some of those lines are just like i don't know that you can apply them to scenarios in your life i love the line about you know if you're dead to me why are you at the wake Wake. yeah yeah because it's like you know it's not literally you know dead but that's a phrase used like you're dead to me yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah but then you know, then why are you at my? Why are you still around? Why are you still in my around life? if you hate me? Yeah, so yeah much? exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I love the, the lyrical content on this yeah, on this yeah. record. Track number six, Mirror Ball. We're starting with guitars now. Mm-hmm. I would have not thought this was uh, Taylor with the pacing of her vocals mm. and her melody. Nice so, and slow and yeah. calm. I love this line right here. Huh? I'm still on my tallest tiptoes, spinning in my highest heels, love. The way she says love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a very British thing. Yeah. Call yeah. someone love. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, love. Thank you, love. When no one is around, my dear. 
my dear is my mum. She says, uh, "Yeah, love, dear, yeah. And darling are very like old, old English." Yes, yeah, yeah. A lot of space, eh, in this her spacious atmosphere. Her voice is back. Wow, I love productions. I love it. I just love it. I, I'm, I'm, I just blows me away how people get sounds. So, okay, a question I have for you uh, coming off that track. If you could change it in any way, what would you do? If I could change this in any way, what would I do? I was thinking of it during the track is I was thinking I would pull her vocals right up to the front. Mm, so you're the opposite of what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, no, but, but but hear me out though. Okay. A mirror ball for me represents a huge room. Yeah. Big place. It's spinning around. Uh, and what you're going to get is you're going to get that type of vocal in a room like that yeah. with a live feel. And I think it it sat right for this song. I get that. Uh, I just wanted to say this song. Like since, ever since I heard it, I was like, and I don't know if anyone's talked about this on online or not, if this is an opinion. But this, if you get some pedals in there, yeah, and uh, and put her vocals a little muffled in the back, you got a shoegaze banger. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. that have like a, a, a for a, sure full on shoegaze feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, Taylor. I know you you like the channel you tune in sometimes if you're watching. You should do a live like uh, version of this with like a bunch of distorted pedals and shit and <laughs> really echoey and and, yeah. and compressed and and everything. But, well, so you, my question to you is is uh, you've listened to the, the lots of her different music, right? Yeah. Is this when you heard this and you were like, did you go? Wow, this is fucking different. Yeah, for sure. Because I find I'm finding it different from the from the, the singles that I've heard. You know, well, what I mean? the thing is, is I I kind of stopped listening to Taylor Swift for a bit because I, I wasn't a fan of uh, the two records before that. And and like I said in the beginning of the video, my opinion has changed on Reputation and love her a little bit. Um, but I was not really. Uh, I I don't know. I I, I thought her records were okay. But I was like, I prefer the older stuff, you know. I, I prefer, yeah. like I liked Red and I liked 1989 a lot. Um, so then the two in between that, I was just not crazy about. So then when I heard this, it was like, okay, this is something that I have not heard from her, and I I like it. I really enjoy it. Track number seven, seven. I hit my peak at seven. Like a pattern, love you to the moon and to Saturn. Pass down like folk songs, the love lasts so long. I forgot how much I like this song. This is mix is beautiful. The chorus of uh, her, you know, talking about her peak at, at seven and yeah. right over the trees, like that. Uh, it's so good. And I've been meaning to tell you. Oh my god. This this song reminds me of a good friend of mine I grew up with. I would not think this is what I thought Taylor Swift was. <laughs> That's crazy. Seriously, it's like like this mix right here is just it's cra it's fantastic. Like no volume touching. That's what I I'm amazed at. How it's it just, stayed consistent. It's just stayed consistent right through. Like it's such. I really want to work with Jack. I, yeah. Or um, Aaron. Off. <laughs> you know, I'm going to use one word for that. That was extremely, well, too, extremely pretty. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Luscious. Luscious, pretty, uh, but also sad. And I'm going to give tell you why. Lyrics in this remind me of... Um, a friend, you said. Yeah, no, you know what? Uh, I had a, I had a little guy in the neighborhood who was, I befriended, and he had a really shitty life uh, at home, and he used to come over to our place. 
Um, and uh, he would come over and he would bring little gifts to, because I had, you know, six, your uncles, yeah. six brothers. Our house was always crazy. Uh, his name was Jeffrey. He didn't live too far from us, maybe five houses, but he used to come by. And it's funny because she said something about a closet and he used to hide it. He had a little nook and, and he had a, a little curtain in this nook and we would go in there. In and his th- house? Yeah. Mm. And it was super small, but we, we would go in there and he'd have his flashlight and we'd have uh, Richie Rich cartoons yeah, yeah, and yeah. we'd eat some food and shit in there. And uh, he just had re- a really bad, um, whatchamacallit, but he used to come, he used to come to the house and he used to call my dad, dad mm. which i look back now and it's such a sad thing like yeah six seven years old his dad wasn't around uh, yeah wasn't around it was just him. a sad but there's just little things in here you know what i mean i've been meaning to tell you i think your house is haunted your dad is always mad and that must be why uh, yeah um i think you should come live with me we can be pirates then you won't have to cry or hide in the closet mm-hmm. or just like a folk song our love ha- will be passed on so that's very on the nose it's, for it, your friendship and cr- what you know. Or but, your- sorry, but that's 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 the beauty of what we were talking about earlier is that when you go into songs and you just, you extrapolate what you get out of this. Yeah, you don't need to go look and find out who this person is that Taylor's talking about or what it's about. You can just, yeah, yeah. You can just enjoy it for what it is and take it. Yeah, and, and that is the beauty of music. Track number eight, August. So on your door I never needed anything more but I can see it's lost in the memory August slipped away into a moment in time big 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 melodic choruses yeah w- right and I can see it's just in the bed sheets August slipped away like a bottle of wine so you, yeah, you haven't them. heard this before so no but I can follow it I, yeah. you know to her pattern right that soft bass drum is everything, man. Yeah. It's a heartbeat. Fuck, I want to make something like this before I croak. Cancel plans just in case you call and say, Meet me behind the mall. So much for someone love and saying us because you want to Nice. <laughs> love the chorus it's so catchy the the moment in time a guy in a trench coat said that to me once i didn't go (laughs) it's good (laughs) Woo! (laughs) we had just escalated we're above the clouds right now it does feel like you're coming out of an airplane and just okay august and Exile are they're up there for me like contenders of the your favorites yeah yeah I, those yeah. are the two biggest on the record yeah, so you, yeah. Uh, maybe you are a good a and person those 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 are those are the, the hot the biggest streams yeah those are those are fire the chorus after one run through you already have it in your head yes it's th- th- and that's that's great That that's making great great that's melodic pop writing. music right yeah um Ah, anyways, fucking loved it. I, I just, right. I loved it. I just didn't like the one, one part I did not like was what when we both looked at each other and or, sang. Yeah, in, um, in I can see us twisted in bed sheets. Yeah, I think that we should cut that right out of the video. Yes, yes, okay, it's yeah. cut. Boom, you guys yeah. didn't even see that. Yeah, track number nine. This is me trying. I'm gonna try to guess who's doing what production. Okay, I'll look. I'm gonna say this is uh. Well, wait, give it a second. I, I just tell by the drums right now. I'm going to say this is the National. You are wrong. <gasps> oh, it's Mr. Jack? It is Mr. Antonoff. Oh, because he... It, okay, Jack did the other one, right? Uh, previous one, yeah, yeah. 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 And maybe I don't quite know what to say, but I'm here in your doorway. I just wanted you to know that this is me trying. They told me all. That's how we've gotten a lot more spacious in this record. Very. Your flashback and film reel on the one screen in my town. And I just wanted you. That's a real, uh, that line there is a real Taylor-ism, eh? The way she 
phrase you it. You're back and about to yeah. over. Yeah. Right. That's, that's not Taylor. That's, uh, that's T-Swizzle. <laughs> I thought this was a really, really, really cool track for trying something different. Um, and, it, and I think it was placed well in the record, you know? Like yes. That wouldn't be a good second song. No. 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 But where it fits is like, yeah, it's yeah. perfect. Right after August, yeah. you know, to kind of fit in there and yeah. still have that airiness and the openness yeah. that it did with the huge reverb and... And large vocals and space. Large Even vocals. the drums, you know, like one snare just <laughs> fucking, you just heard it. Yeah, yeah. But but another thing I love about it is that we didn't have this massive chorus. It was just her saying, very, very simple, I just want to, I want this you to know this trying. is me trying. And the way yeah. she did it, I just want to know this is me trying. And it almost kind of like represents, I don't know if I'm going too deep. I didn't smoke or anything before this episode, but um, like, I feel like it almost represents like, you at the end of like convincing someone like like th th this is me trying like I'm trying my best this to is all I can give, give. exactly and it's That's like you're kind of you know if she was saying this is like really like powerful this is me trying you know a big chorus it wouldn't come off the same I, I like how it's kind of almost sluggish and, and slow and it's like I'm at my my wits end here. This is me trying. Yeah, and it, you've expelled yourself. Yes. Yeah. You're yeah. you're like fuck. I, I, yeah, this, 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 is, this me, is me trying. This is me trying. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm I've gone as far as I can go. Yeah. No, I like that song a lot. Uh, T Swizzle. I believe it's a it's a skit. I, I don't know what it's from though. It was my first, it was my true introduction to Taylor Swift. Thug Story is a parody of Love Story, which Taylor Swift performed with American rapper T-Pain for the CMT Music Awards in 2009. No, I ain't got a gun. No, I never been to a club. Still live with my parents, but I'm still a thug. <laughs> I'm so gangsta. You can find me baking cookies at night out clubbing, but I just made Caramel Delights, T-Swift, and T-Pain rapping on the same track. It's a thug story. Can, tell me, can you handle that? Um, I was nine years old, and I remember my friend Bernie uh, sent me that. Because he was like, man, Taylor Swift, she goes hard, man. She's, <laughs> this is, she can rap. Track number 10, Illicit Affairs. Imagine getting this guitar sound. I just... How, I, do, you, how do you do it? we got to find out how to do it. Make sure nobody sees you leave. Put over your head, keep your eyes down. Tell yourself you can always stop. That's great. <laughs> what started in beautiful rooms ends with meetings in parking lots. And that's the thing about illicit affairs. This is a very clandestine uh, Taylorism. Yeah. I don't stolen know. stairs, they lie a million little times. Then they swell it. Yeah. And you want to scream, don't call me kid, don't call me baby. Whoa, great picking. Wow. Like just this sound of the guitar yeah. man, makes me horny. Not horny. <laughs> makes me uh, happy. <laughs> it, can, it can make you anything it wants. Yeah. It doesn't uh, matter. The like, guitar sound on that is, is incredible. Any uh, H word is fine. Yeah. Uh, great track. Um, it, it's one of the ones that like... I um I feel like it's underappreciated. I love the picture painting in the first verse. I, mm -hmm. I make sure nobody sees you leave. Hood over your head. Keep your eyes down. Tell your friends you're out for one run. You'll be flushed when you return. Yeah, Take and I like the, the from the hotel to the the parking lots yeah. later. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, lyrically yeah. really good. Production really good. What what more can you say really? Yeah, no, it's a great song. You know what? Okay, I'll tell you. Been with mom for I don't know forty eight years, fifty <laughs> fifty years. Uh, 75 years. My dick has never strayed, except, you know, with one of these, rosy palms. Uh, but I'm just going to say, like, it, it it didn't matter here that... Uh, this, that, that, that you don't connect. I don't connect to it, but it was storytelling. Exactly, yeah. And and I could feel that I felt a little bit of, like, eat in my stomach of what's going on. Track number 11, Invisible String. Wow, t super tight mic'd up. 
Yeah, super close. Very close, yeah. Green was the color of the grass where I used to read at Centennial Park. Curious talk, give me no compasses, give me no signs. Were there clues I didn't see? I love that. I love that little invisible string, man. Yeah. And I love the picking on this song. There's still little sprinkles of her country yes, side in here, you know? Especially in this one. Yeah, yeah. She's got a question mark on that. Tying you to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was it or was it not an invisible That's, string? Yeah. It's a question. Great plucking. It's crazy. You know what? I'm just reading something here. Yeah. That plucking of that guitar. Yes. Does it send you to a place in the world of what it would, what, maybe what it sounded like? Mm. I, I, I hear it now that I, I've just read this reference, right? What, is it a Middle Eastern country? It's, no, Asian. Asian, okay. I don't know what, it, it, if, if you play some... I don't know what the fucking instrument is. Invisible string references an East, uh, East Asian folk myth about a red thread of fate tying two soulmates together. I think that's fucking so cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that song, and it, it does have a little bit of a country yeah, uh, yeah. thing, a little country twang to it, uh, which I, w- I would love to see her tap back into that. Track number 12, Mad Woman. Your piano is back. I love it. I love the way they've mic'd it. What did you think I'd say to that? Does a scorpion sting when fighting back? They strike to kill, and you know I will. <laughs> oh, okay, <shit>. well, <laughs> yeah. You know I will. No one likes a mad woman. You made her like that. To wrap your noose around. And there's nothing like that. a man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. Scratch. Yeah. Fucking percussion, man. Wow. Yeah, I love the way the percussion came in on this track. Yes, it, yeah. The, the percussion's kind of been different on every track, in yes. a way. What's that? Just sampled out right there. Well, I know now, after listening to this, I'm not shutting off Mum's Love Island. Yes, we'll keep it on. Uh, yes. Because we do not want a mad woman. Yeah, <laughs> I'll watch the uh, hockey game on my TV down here. Or, or, or my phone. phone on the basement. Yeah, I'll listen to it on the radio. I'll leave her <laughs> Love Island alone. Um, no, I love that track. It, it, it's, uh, it fits the record well, and it's got some uh, really nice percussion. And the, the guitar mixing. I think the mixing in general with the piano, the guitar, the percussion. And, and, and her voice. Vocals. Her, her vocals are she she can, you know what from from when I first heard her Tim McGraw to this album right here is just like she well, is a night and day difference oh man and and you know what she she knows when to to keep it low and then you notice she hasn't done a whole fuck ton of jumping up in no this. no not on this record yeah no, and, like and because and we've talked before about this is that when when you're talking. When you're when you're where she where she's singing in her, in in her lower in lower timber 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 fuck tone. lower tone, um, it's getting across more as a and Jack Antonoff talked about this is that when you're when you're doing that, mm-hmm. it's like you and I talking right now. I'm yeah, telling you, this it's more personal. It's more personal. You know, I I my feelings are hurt. I wish you, you know, I wish you didn't do that to me. Yeah. My feelings are hurt, and I wish you didn't do that to me. Yeah, it doesn't come off the same way. It's yeah, it's it's yeah. totally different, right? So, and the Mad Woman right here, she could have screamed that all the time. Yeah, but, but having it so close to the mic and just kind of soft and yes, and it, it just adds this, this power to it. I'm boiling. I'm boiling inside, but I haven't yet. The claws Gone haven't up. come out of yeah. the, of the bear claws yet. Yeah. Right. All right, we'll keep going. Track number 13, Epiphany. Keep your helmet, keep your life, son. Sir, I think he's bleeding out. And some things you just can't speak about. 
Wow, what a powerful first verse, man. Mm-hmm. Hold your hand through plastic now. That's what we just talked about. Mm-hmm. Doc, I think she's crashing now. With you, I serve. With you, I fall down. Taylor's done it on this one, man. This is great. Crazy. This song has given me like eight different things to think about so deeply. This is one of my favorites off the record. Those tiny little keys. In the yeah, yeah. Just, just, uh, there's that, that one sound here. It's crazy how this, this song's uh, just affected me mentally just now. Um, the last part there was, was they, for me, what they sounded like was like a, a loose version of a bagpipe. Bagpipe, mm-hmm. to me, represents... Um, Death. Military, you know what I mean? Yeah. A remembrance Day. Now we go all the way back to the top line. First verse about the rifle and the B- Crawling and... up the beaches now. Sir, I think he's bleeding out and some things you just can't speak about, right? Mm-hmm. Then we get to the chorus. Then we get to verse number two, which we just talked about uh, a little while back about COVID. Something med school did not cover. Someone's daughter, someone's mother. Hold your hands through plastic now. Yeah. Uh, Doc, I think she's crashing out. And then only 20 minutes to sleep, but you dream of epiphany. Uh, some, uh, Just one single glimpse of relief to make sense of what you've seen. And and it's just, you know what? It, that's a fucking a, a beautiful track that evoked. Beautiful piece of poetry there. It, but it evoked so much shit in me. Like I'm not crying in this one though. I'm not. I'm not doing it. But you gotta cry, man. I gotta. I gotta use it in the thumbnail. No, I just. It's <laughs> too tough. Um, no. Um, no. There's the, the and there's like uh, I'm. I won't even go to the outro. But the outro is 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 something that's hitting me really hard right now. And if you played a, this for me and and said it was Taylor, I would have. I dare. I tell you, I would have never guessed it. You didn't know she had this kind of. Uh, I didn't know kind of writing chops. And... Yes, I know. I, I know the you know mean and all the the, the hits, right? Yeah. Um, but I'm glad you got 22 me. Twenty two and yeah, and yeah, all those ones. Track fourteen, Betty, and this one ties into the whole love triangle, which I, I don't know the whole uh, thing anymore. I forget. Um, but there's you, you can look into it when you're done. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oof, you talked about the country feel. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Betty, I won't make assumptions about why you switched your homeroom, but I think it's because of me. But if I just showed up at your party, would you have me? Would you want me? Would you tell me to go fuck myself or lead me to the garden? Don't know anything, but I know I miss you. Is she singing this to Betty, I guess? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. That's... There's a whole love triangle thing that I'll, just, I'll try to look into it later. Yeah. Plus I saw you dance with him. I like this song. You heard the rumors from me that you can't believe a word she says most times. But this time it was true. This is so much in in my wheelhouse. His storytelling songwriting oh, wheelhouse yeah. with guitar. Yeah, sure. That's your oh, key change. Yeah. Wow. Kiss me on the porch, in your Oh. So I'm saying, there's a yeah, yeah. like a three, there's, there's a there's three songs that all connect. Yeah. Betty, I need to know more about Betty. Please tell me about Betty. I have to say, I always say that. I have to say, I have to say, I've heard Taylor talking about being uh you know cheated on misled or whatever having that, relationship having, problems yeah. yeah all that kind of stuff this is the first time i've heard her from a different perspective a- apologizing mm, oh yeah yeah being on the well, other yeah, side yeah she's talking from a different perspective and here, and, 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 and that, storytelling and for me that was a this that you was a w- click on betty and i'll let you read it cuz i i need to be reminded of okay, what the betty whole... touches on the aftermath of august which describes yes, a okay. summer love that was doomed from the start Listeners learned that while the summer affair was going on, the speaker, James, was still dating their classmate, Betty. The song takes a more feminist approach, portraying the, the narrator as a person named James who can't own up to their mistakes. 
all while Betty flourishes on her own and recognizes her worth. Oh, sonically, the song exudes a strong sense of nostalgia, delivering production and instrumentals yes, yeah, yeah. reminiscent of uh, Fearless and Speak Now. Mm-hmm. Um, Betty is believed to be the third part of Folklore's Teenage Love Triangle. That's told, it, yeah. yeah, told from the... Cardigan, August, and then Betty, I think, right? So this is told from the point of view of James. Yes. I wrote from a perspective of a 17-year-old boy. I've always loved that in music, you can kind of slip into different identities and you can sing from other people's perspectives. And that's what you So like that's that. what I did on this one, and I named all the characters in this story after my kids, my friend's kids. Yeah. Fucking great. Great song. Great song, yeah. Track number 15, (laughs) Peace. Jack or National, what do you think? National, for sure. Hands down. I actually don't know, but I I feel like I'm I'm leaning towards that too. Yeah, you're right. That sounds very national. Yeah. Because it lives in me. No, I can never give you peace. Beautiful voice. Wow. I wish I could sing like her. The devil's in the details, but you got a friend in me. <laughs> Would it be enough if I can never give you peace? Ooh. Something's coming up. That's old school. Yeah. Can feel the silence that only comes when two people understand each other. Family that I chose now that I see your brother as my brother. Great two lines there, fast. Yeah. Boom, boom. Enough? The devil's in the details, but you got a friend in me. You hear a voice there? He, that, the crack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little crack. Yeah. Would it be enough if I can never give you peace? You never go back and correct those, ever. No, because they're so Would good. It be yeah. Human. Yeah. Nice chill song that you can definitely feel the national influence on there. And it was very, 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 very peaceful. Yes. It was very peaceful. Soft. No drums in there. It just went straight. The, the little synth thing or whatever the hell it was, <laughs> that felt like the percussion. Yeah, that was the percussion part yeah. that drove us. Yeah, but but there was a. I was thinking that in my head, this is my stupid production thing. It'd be. But that. But for, you know what? But that's so eighties of me. Final track. Final track number sixteen. Hoax. My only one, my smoking gun, stood on the cliffside screaming, give me a reason, your faithless love's the only hooks I believe in, you know I left a part of me back in New York, you knew the hero died so what's the movie for you knew it still hurts underneath my scars from when they pulled me apart Ah, darling this was just as hard that's great eh i just watched your fingers do that piano so do i i was thinking about hooking it up last night taylor swift well i have to say something my young child yes i think you started me off in the exactly right spot to get into taylor's music yes i have to say i really mean that from my heart i think this album has showed me a side that I didn't know existed with Taylor, mm-hmm. um, especially in the, and I'll go, go back to here, um, the the last great American dynasty. Mm-hmm. Um, Exile. Exile. Uh, Epiphany. August. Um, Betty. August. These, I didn't know that she went, she could, I didn't know that she, her writing could go to this place. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
I did, I did. You know what? And I think it really, really fit the mood today. Um, today is gloomy. It's dark. It's, it's dark. Gloomy. It's gloomy, and we got a candle going. It's fairly cold in here, and I think that uh, the production on this I got first off uh, between uh, Aaron, Aaron, mm-hmm. Aaron Dressner, or is it? and Jack, and Jack, Aaron, and Jack, and uh, I don't know if um, Taylor was playing a part in those in that production. Oh, I'm sure she. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to watch the documentary now. Yeah. I can finally watch it. Um, I know it was done in a cabin somewhere in the woods. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, It was. they got away. I know that. Somebody from uh, Patreon told me that. Oh, okay. They got away and it was away from the city. They pulled the bony bear. That's why he was all over the, he was ready to jump. They, well, it was, it they was, invited him out and he was like. No, it was next to his cabin. Yeah, it was the, they built one right next door. No, he was singing or she was singing and then he was singing the parts and he was yeah, like, yeah. who the fuck is that? No, that wouldn't be that, true because his voice was so close up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah if yeah. he was in the back, maybe it would make sense. Yeah, but yeah. But anyway. uh no, that was a fantastic, a fantastic listen to uh, a Taylor. I know lots of people have been asking for a long time, and um, it was well worth the wait. It was well worth the wait. It was what it was such a really well put together album. I love that there was themes on there that um, that I have never felt, but she made me feel them. Yeah, like I know you know there's a, there's a fan base out there who 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 directly relate to these lyrics directly yeah. relate to the lyrics right but i mean when you go into the the mindset of if listening, you're an empathetic person you can listen to it and an and, 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 and empathetic person but also you're open to music any type of music ja- yeah. jazz fucking polka whatever trombone solos only like, yeah. blah, 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 blah. you know what i mean yeah if you go into it with, with that, an open mind and some empathy you can connect to uh, to connect know, to anything a so lot and, of different storytelling and, 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 and surprisingly i connected to a lot of these mm-hmm. and um I, and I, I specifically loved uh, uh, Justin and and and, and uh, Taylor together. I had a great time listening to this record. I always do. I hope you had fun. I hope I. You hope you had fun. I was, <laughs> I was going to say. I, I, I hope Taylor's watching and she comes on the podcast in December. Yeah, Taylor, you're in Vancouver, December. We got an extra chair. We can sit down. And yeah, we can, uh, we'll bring cats. She likes cats. Have you never seen her on Jimmy Kimmel? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the, he brings she, out no. He has she has to name cats. This is where he says, "Okay, name all the cats you know." And she's like, and "It's like she names every type of cat." Yeah, my, my nose. I'm not good around cats, but uh, if Taylor is willing to come on the show, I will bring as many cats over. We got a bunch in the neighborhood. I'll just start feeding them treats. And- <laughs> Try to gather them up. No, did you have fun? I had lots of fun. I did. I did. I did. I, you know, I had a horrible sleep last night and a horrible morning until you, you, uh, and thank you. I want to thank you. I, I want to thank you on camera for, for showing you look, this no, album. Show me the album, but looking after, looking after me, after me this morning. And that's a great son. So thank you. Well, um, you deserve it. You deserve some rest. Um, and I hope you guys have, uh, have had a good time. Hope you enjoyed watching. If this is your first time here. Uh, we haven't done the other Taylor Swift, so I'm not going to say go check out our other Taylor videos, but we've done artists in the same kind of vein, done a lot of Lana videos. And uh, you can check this entire episode uncut on Patreon if you want. Uh, it's what are we at now, three hours? On YouTube. I don't know how long it's going to be, but we're coming close to the three-hour mark on Patreon. Three so. hours? Yeah, it's long. Wow, that's long. A lot of yapping. Uh, we had a lot to say about this album, but uh, I trim it down for YouTube. Uh, just copyright reasons and whatnot. But uh, yeah, check it out on Cut on Patreon if you want. You get access to the Discord and all our other videos um, that we've done on Cut. So take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Much love. Much love. And peace. Peace. Whew, whew.